Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages here? Daily reading for anyone who's guided. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. This reading's for anyone who's guided. It is a daily reading for the collective. All signs. All right, let's do it. Also, we're using, I'm so sorry, this was Lightseer's Tarot. We're also using the um, Quantum Oracle. What do we need to know? Daily reading. We're just pulling a couple of these to start. Daily reading. Okay, we got Sacred Temple, Loving Man, and Milestone. And at the bottom, we have Back and Forth. So this is interesting. So there could have been some kind of um, back and forth energy between you and I'll show you them milestone. So you're about to hit a milestone um, on something you've been really back and forth about or this man has been or you could be this man. Sacred Temple, loving man. I feel like um, even if you've never met this person before or even or whether you have or you haven't or whether you are this person doesn't really matter what's happening here is there's some kind of sacred event like it's a spirit card it's a number five card this means change is coming the loving man is a number five card and so is the back and forth card so these all say five 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 means change and what do i always say this when we're doing tarot when i see the fives in reverse they lead to the sixes the milestone and I do feel like you're making some progress here in something. There's some kind of change happening. It has, it's it's like, it was part of your journey. So it was supposed to be this way. It could have taken a while. You could have been back and forth. You could have even dealt with this for, when I see the back and forth, it just doesn't have to mean I'm back and forth about something. It could mean like you made strides in your journey and then you had setbacks and then you had strides and then you had setbacks and now you're about to hit the peak that milestone this graduation something's happening that's a big change five 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 okay all right first thing i noticed when i they all landed that they were all fives all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know what are the messages here this reading is for anyone who's guided. It is collective reading for all signs. Anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second. These are very short readings. They're daily readings. They're not weeklies. They're just dailies. All right. Your weeklies are about to come out, by the way. All right. Let's do it. Sacred Temple, Loving Man, Back and Forth, and Milestone. Daily reading for Thursday. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Reverse, another Five, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse. I don't know if I actually said the date on this, but it's Thursday. It's this coming Thursday, which is the 8th of February. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Absolutely, my God in heaven. All right, let's talk. Remember what I said? I got the chills right now. Uh, chills usually mean spirits in the house. We've got the five of wands, five of pentacles. What did I say? When they're in reverse, they lead to the sixes. And that's what I always say in my readings when I see these fives start coming out in reverse. Because fives are a difficult place to be. Right here, we have a lot of strife. We could have a lot of drama. We could have some bickering, arguing, fighting. Drama, drama, right? Right here, we have somebody who feels alone, feels lost, lonely, sad, left out in the cold, as they say, right? So really, this is your central issue. It's all about you leaving these fives behind, graduating. This is like, I have graduated something. You know, this is your spiritual path. This is something you're, you know, that took a while. Um, whether you are the loving man or this is bringing you into contact with the loving man or it's you and the loving man because look at this we got the queen of pentacles here beautiful energy um you know and the queen of pentacles could be any gender doesn't really matter but we have the two of wands here in the reverse see how she's scoping out what path she's going to go down and she's got the globe there and that might even be a map or tra yeah it's some kind of like travel map or magazine there it's got like a minivan on it like a it has like a volkswagen van on it yeah this is all about where am i going to go what am i going to do what direction am i going in and where am i going to put my efforts you know 
Eight of Pentacles over here is reversed. You might be pulling your efforts out of one place and putting them into another. The Temperance card, this could be divinely guided. This is Archangel Michael. This could be balance coming into a situation. Remember, back and forth, if you look closely, this person is balancing here on like what looks like um, a teeter-totter or a, what do you call them? A seesaw. Uh, that's what it, this person's ba uh, balancing back and forth. And Archangel Michael says, we got you. We're going to help you balance this out. It's time for five, 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 five change and to choose a new direction here. All right, let's get into it. I'm so excited. Oh, I never did look at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Six, another six. Remember we talked about these fives are all leading to the change. The sixes leading in the change is the fives. And when I see them in reverse like this, I feel like we really have passed the difficult times. I definitely feel as though you've gotten to this place where you, you're purging all these old vibes. They're leaving. And you're going to head right into this Ace of Cups with your Six of Cups here. Ace is in reverse for me. Any Ace in reverse says to me, it's not quite here yet, but we got to figure out how to get to it. Well, maybe we've got to purge some past energy here or whatever this is that you've been back and forth about. Let's get some um, clarity on this. We're going to be using the Green Witch Tarot and we're just going to grab a few cards of clarity on it. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? What is the most important daily reading for this coming Thursday for anyone who's guided? Thursday, the 8th of February, 2024. What do we need to know? What are the messages? One more shuffle this coming Thursday. All right, let's take a look at that Five of Wands reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed right down the middle. Tell me about the Fives in reverse here. Smack dab in the center of the reading. Queen of Pentacles again. Here she is. She's getting her new beginning. Ace of Swords. She's getting the Ace of Cups. She's getting the Ace of Swords. She's experiencing some kind of brand new beginning. She, he, they, doesn't matter. There's something happening that's really going to be, it's beautiful. Queen of Pentacles twice in the upright here. The Earth Mother, really. Whichever one you are, the other one's going to be a part of this. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, whether you know them now or not. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> we have the High Priestess, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Look at this. Someone's gigantic ship that they manifested while they were taking a break. The Four of Swords, downtime. But during that time, they contemplated, took time alone. Maybe we're back and forth about it, but they have called in something really special working with the divine, co concocting your dream. Look at the high priestess. She's creating what she wants. Her wish fulfillment to pull right up to dock, her ship coming in, he, she, they. Remember, just because it's Queen of Pentacles, it really could be anybody. Uh, this really says to me, you, you really have been calling in what it is you want. I mean, literally ordering your wish fulfillment. This is somebody who's making together with spirit, what they want. I want my ship to come in. I want it to be just like this. And, you know, adding the ingredients because that three of wands is the magician. Usually we see that magician with the magician cape on calling in their ship to come in. You did this while you had downtime, while you took a time out, while you were alone, while you were back and forth, while you contemplated on where you wanted to go and what you wanted to do. Tell me about that two of wands reverse, please. Two of wands reverse. What's important? The knight of swords. And you know, the funny thing about this knight of swords is look at the bottom, how the magician is also doing the same thing that the high priestess was doing. And what did I say? Like the magician concocting my dream. There absolutely is something happening here. You're about to move forward. This Knight of Swords feels like forward movement's about to happen for you, or you're about to receive information on 
something about this direction that you're going to head in. And there's that wheel of fortune right there. It's just about to come in. Boom. Just about to turn. That's what I feel. This is something you're going to do somewhere. You're going to go some movement you're going to make. Tell me about the eight of pentacles reversed. Eight of pentacles reversed. Why is it here in reverse? Three of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, look at that. So this is something new that you will put all your effort into after contemplating on it, after thinking about it, after looking at, at it from another perspective. This is, the hangman is now enlightened. I now know, and that's what I see everywhere here. I now know where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. I've come out of these fives. I've done my spiritual work. I'm graduating something. Tell me about temperance. I'm being divinely guided spirit sacred temple and archangel michael over here tell me about temperance and archangel michael here what do we need to know queen of swords absolutely seeing with clarity you have the the knight of swords the ace of swords the queen of swords something you were back and forth on you weren't sure what you were going to do or what you were going to invest in, or where you were going to put your efforts, you know it now. It's absolutely, you've been divinely guided in a specific direction. You also have been working with the divine who is also showing you your way forward. Queen of Swords and Temperance here. Look at, look at the Eight of Cups. And look at the chariot reverse. This is someone who's thinking about, look at the thought. I'm not sure what I should do here. They've turned their back on those empty cups. And they're like thinking, should I keep investing in this? Should I keep growing these crops? Or should I move in another direction? And the chariot's right here in reverse. Like at any minute, I could jump in that chariot and I could take off. And that's really the back and forth that you had have had going on here should i stay or should i go you know the eight of cups is supposed to walk away from all this emotional baggage and this person's thinking about it they're back and forth about it they're in deep contemplation about getting on that chariot and taking it you know and going for it this is what you've been trying to figure out and what the clarity is coming in look how she holds the sword of truth now remember the sword of truth is what she has right here she he they i say she because they're pictures of uh feminines but this can be anybody uh i hold the sword of truth i know what i'm doing to create this change i know where i'm going something i've been back and forth on i've called in i've manifested i'm working with the divine and i'm about to see it all pay off you're about to see what this was all for you're about to hit some kind of milestone here it's all been part of the journey what a great reading. I really love this reading because, well, first of all, there's aces everywhere. You got the ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of pentacles. All the fives are in reverse. And right off the bat, we had all those fives call me and say, look at the fives, you know. And then as soon as I brought it up, they came back out to say, yes, they are all in reverse. You have graduated past the fives and you're in these sixes. And this is where you now, you just have to decide where is it I'm going? Like spirit absolutely has your back. When you decide you're ready, it's seriously just a matter of getting in the chariot or getting in your little Volkswagen van or whatever you're going to do and going. It's like this is your last step. You just, um, you're, you're right now working on bringing in this clarity. I am contemplating and thinking about it. I am trying to figure out which direction it is. I have been back and forth about this. This really could be about a big move you have coming up and you just haven't quite decided where it's going to be, but it's happening. There's some place you're going to invest, something you're going to do that causes change, and it's going to be oh so 
positive. And it doesn't have to be a physical move, but it could be a move in a specific direction. For some of you, it's about work. Because remember, you got the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. So this could be how you earn money, where you earn money, who you work for, what you're doing for a living, working for yourself, whatever it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like this video and keep these daily readings growing. If they are growing, I will keep them on the channel. Everybody seems to love them, but they don't all seem to hit the like. So if you guys hit the like, they'll grow and we'll keep them. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.